You might think hyenas are what the Lion King says they are, but they're not. Today I'll learn about how many, about what the lion, hyenas are like in the Lion King and in actuality. We learn how many kinds of hyenas are, where they live, and are they in fact a type of wild dog themselves. The mission of this event is for you to fall in love with these animals the way I have. First slide, please, if you read. First slide, please. Spot, spot hyena, please. <coughs> <laughs> All right, there are four kinds of hyenas in the world today. The spotted hyena, which is the long, the spotted hyena, the striped hyena, the brown hyena, and the ard wolf. The spotted name is not really a wolf itself, it's a hyena, and it's a small breed. Now the spotted hyena, Jesus, slide, Jesus, slide. The spotted hyena is the largest three, this kind of hyena. It gets the name of the Latin hyena because of the sound it makes. Listen, and Mr. Lydian, will you please play the hyena on the third grade plane? <laughs> So that's what they sound like on the Serengeti Plains. Next slide, please. This is a striped hyena. Striped hyenas do live in Africa, but in fact, they range into the Middle East and into India. And as you can see, right there, the gray with black stripes and pointed ears. Next slide. Brown hyenas live in Southern Africa, and that's what they look like. The and, and finally, the Ard Wolf. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, they're pretty small if you look at them, and they're actually insectivores. That means they eat, eat bugs. They are nocturnal, but the spotted hyenas are nocturnal too. Now before we go on, how, raise your hand if you've heard of an animal called the African wild dog before. Next slide, please. Well, that, well I like to call them cape hunting dogs too, but, but they're all so-called African wild dogs. Now, now, you might not believe this, but guess what? Yeah, you know how there are hyenas in the Lion King? This animal was what the hyenas were actually supposed to, were actually originally going to be. Next slide. Now hyenas in the Lion King, you might recognize those three right there. They were inaccurately portrayed. Disney was actually sued by a hyena researcher for the defamation of character or the portrayal and the movie was boycotted. Alright, next slide. Hyena, it is in real life. Habitat. Now, their habitats are like desert, savanna, savanna and wooded areas. Now that they're social like Brown hyenas live in small groups. Our wolves live in are basically split live in, live in pairs. Striped hyenas are solitary until they give birth, basically. And hyena and spot hyenas. You should look at them. They are their groups are massive. They can consist with clans, or what they're called. A clan consists of eight or, or or more members. Now, girls, don't get too excited. But, <laughs> but actually, Julie, Julie, you might like hyenas live in a matriarchal society. That means is that the females rank higher than the males. So if we were spot hyenas, you guys would you guys would be the bosses. <laughs> Next slide. And this is what a baby spotted hyena looks like. Yeah, see, the, yeah, see, they're born all blackish, and, and, the, and as they mature or grow up, the spot they grow the spots. Female hyenas feed their babies for a really long time period. Dogs and cats only care for their babies for a few months. Hyenas have smaller litters than cats for dogs that are one or two babies. Now the alpha female has one big den for the cubs until they're old enough to travel with the alpha female themselves. And keep this in mind, the alpha female is the only one who breeds. Any more ranking hyenas will give birth, well, their cubs are basically killed. But that's a, but keep that in mind, but don't think that 
step back is that's just dominant. Next slide. Now, we know what cats are, but let's take a look at what civets and mongoose are. This animal right here is an African civet. Yeah, see, so it looks kind of like a raccoon. Can you, does it look kind of like a raccoon? Yeah. And the animal to my right right here is it called a dwarf mongoose. Mongoose are cool like the meerkat. And so, you can see this, and, this, and they actually have these at Brookfield Zoo to go there. All right, next slide, please. Now, hyenas and prehistory. We're going to take a step back in time and look what they were like in the Ice Age. First, they hunted these animals. Przewalski's horse, if you know what those are, woolly rhinoceros, wild boar, auric, which are a type of cattle, fallow deer, roe deer, and European bison. The pre there were also, in fact, dog-like hyenas who had already died out. Next, next slide. Prey, prey animals of hyena. Let's take a look at what, what, let's see. Hyenas have a reputation of being scavengers, but they're more efficient hunters. Hyenas hunt using a clan strategy. They hunt by separating a female and cat and baby from the her rest of the group. Hyenas can run up, to, run, up, run up to 30 miles per hour. They can go into water and hunt fish at times. Now, the foods in your stomach are very acidic, which means they can break down anything like hides, bones, or horns. Let's take a look at Let's, let's hear what sound, what sound, how the hyenas make as, as the hyenas about to come to, as the hyenas about to hunt. Is it waving? Is it waving? Will you? Oh, here it is. That's kind of intense, huh? <laughs> All right, next slide, please. Oh, and these are the animals that that are actually hunted now, and oh, and then you can just go, you can just go through them. Przewalski's horse, woolly rhinoceros, wild boar, fallow deer, <coughs> zebra, wildebeest. Now you all know what these guys are, right? Now wildebeest, now, now wildebeest, these, these were, spotted hyenas primarily hunt these, these animals more than others such as grants, gazelle, goats, sheep, gorno, which are a kind of antelope, pangolians, which are a kind of like armadillo -type, type animal, even though I don't think they're related to armadillos, pythons and cattle. Now see, I couldn't put all these animals in this list. Next slide, ibex. And ibex were hunted during the ice age, but they were also hunted now since they live in, since both animals, the spotted hyena and ibex, both live in Ethiopia. Now the ostrich, I bet ostrich like just could both hunt and scavenge on ostrich food, but brown hyenas, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. The brown hyena often tries to steal ostrich eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so keep that in mind. But when they scavenge, they also tend to feed alongside vultures and jackals. Ooh, now these guys, these guys are, are tough. Spotted hyenas, when they hunt this animal, the Cape buffalo, they take a huge risk. Now, now if you, you ever go to Africa and you see these animals, I'm going to give you a little word of advice and warning. Do not approach them. They are aggressive. They, will, they have been known to kill humans, lions, and crocodiles. Oh, and this is just one thing that I think of my life. This is what will happen. Let's see what happens when hyenas and the lions encounter each other in the wild. Mr. William, can you play the